up in the rooftop in NBA 2K16's Rivet City My Park Championship Park. You saw it first. Rivet City is back. This is a video that I have to bring the face cam up because I am not happy. I'm gonna tell you the truth when I'm happy. If I'm not happy, I'm gonna tell you the truth. First of all, your sister me shave. Wifey make me shave. Wifey made me shave. All right. She said I was starting to look 40 years old. I wasn't looking my age. 2K dropped some my team news today. We're getting a my team park. Not just any park. The OG park we've been asking for for the last friggin' five years. They're given to my team, which is a W for my team. I'm happy for my team creators. I'm happy for my team um, players. I'm very, very angry for YouTubers that play park and people that just play park in general. So Bats Plug said in a tweet, bringing a classic park back, people have been begging for it in a different mode is diabolical. I'm not going to lie to you. That is 100% how I feel right now. I love 2K. I'm always going to love 2K. I'm always going to play 2K. But this is a slap in the face, 2K. This is a slap in the face for anybody that loves Park. Because there's no way we've been asking for something like this. And you guys have had the capability of doing it. And it's a mass majority of people are asking. You don't have to make the Park mainly that. But bring back the old affiliations and make the Park similar to that. We've been asking for this. We asked for affiliations. 2K came and they gave us new affiliations. First, it was the, the Beast and the, the Knights and the, the Vipers. And, and I don't even know the other one. I don't, I don't even remember because it don't matter. It don't hold the same weight. Wildcats. <laughs> Sorry, Wildcats. All the Wildcats about there. Sorry. They did that. We asked them to bring it back. They, they, they scratched that and then they brought back. They brought, not back. They brought Elite and Rise. And then you're frigging show us this in 2k25 that you have the ability to bring back the old affiliations and the old parks and even make them look better it's a slap in the face i'm not happy with that 2k i'm not gonna lie to you and what's gonna be even more of a slap in the face if is if we load up in 2k25's park and it's still a jungle we have to maneuver because if you look at the 2k16 courts the revamp it literally, all the courts are right beside each other. There's no running and jumping over stairs and running through trees and crossing lakes to get to the play, to play the game. You just walk from one dot to the next. Vibrant, easy games. Unfortunately, that is not the case. All right, in 2K24, 2K23, 2K22 next gen, 2K21 next gen, all of the next gen games, it's you have to literally travel like Indiana Jones to get to play games. I had put out a tweet as Yardman game, and I only tweet once in a blue moon every season, right? If we load up in the city and see Rise and Elite again, there will be a huge problem in the park community. I'm telling you guys in advance, it's going to be some riots if we load up in 2K25's park and we have the same affiliations and the same city or the city is not done correctly. First of all, we want the old affiliations back. We don't want to learn. We don't want to get attached to something new. We don't want to get attached to uh, Rise and Elite. We don't want to get attached to no Beast or whatever they were trying to do, to do. We want to be attached to what we know 2K as. Sunset Beach, when they you know, introduced it, River City. But if 2K finds a way to check this up, I pray 2K, I pray you guys do not do this because the community will not take this lightly. I'm telling you right. If it's possible, whatever you have planned, if it's not on par with what you see the community going crazy for, do not get the community's hopes up. I promise you. Because 2K has an, a way of doing this where they'll get your hopes up. And when things don't go the way... And when, and when you realize that they didn't implement it the way that you originally thought it would be, it causes some issues. And you'll see 2K trending on Twitter again. I want to avoid that because I want to see the company thrive. I want to see the company thrive because the company thrive and the game is thriving. We're thriving as creators and the you know people that play the game to escape. We're thriving, right? We want an all around healthy. That's that. All right. I hope that we don't load in and see the same, you know, affiliations. If it is the same affiliations, at least make the parks look similar to what we used to love. Not these futuristic parks, parks that are simple basketball court stuff and have one court somewhere else for the futuristic lovers all right no there was this screenshot put up about 2k16 versus um 2k25 um you know saying the the sign says uh, sunset beach 
But if you ask me, it does not look like it says Sunset Beach. I don't know what these dudes are looking at. I don't know if they have some type of extra vision that we don't have. I don't see no freaking Sunset Beach anywhere. I'm telling you right now, I believe that this, my team, if you ask me for my opinion, I'm going to give it to you straight. This, my team park, I believe is strictly for my team. Because what's the point of having it in my team if you have it in the park? Think about it, guys. Just think about it. If the my team park was in the city, what's the point of playing it in my team? It doesn't make sense, right? 2K, they do everything for a reason. They gave, they gave us a park we wanted for the wrong mode. I'm just going to call it right now. I'm calling it here right now. The chances of us getting the park, the OG parks in the city, I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah, you call it a party poop or anything. I don't think it's going to happen. I really don't. 2K has never just went with something and, and dashed it in the, the first year. Like affiliation, they just they just introduced this Rise and Elite stuff. You think they're going to cut bait with it? We know 2K plans things years in advance, so they probably have three years with these affiliations or something. Who knows? This is my opinion. I might be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I hope that we got the OG parks back, the OG affiliation. It doesn't necessarily have to be the same parks, guys. Because it's nostalgia at the end of the day. And nostalgia sometimes when you play it for a week or two, you'll be like, man, I want something different. I'm not somebody that's just, you know, dwelling in nostalgia. The affiliations is something that we were loyal to. We grew up with that. Sunset Beach, we were loyal to Sunset Beach. The city. You see me? The real city. Sunset Beach. And then the boy not come from Sunset Beach, they can't go about them business. You see me? That's what, we were loyal to the, the affiliations. To take that away and give us something different is just slapping us in the face. That's just my honest opinion. And maybe 2K just don't know that, all right? That that's how we feel about the situation. But that's how we feel about the situation. Give us a different park. If you want to give us a different park based around those affiliations, that's all I ask for. You don't have to be the same parks. But at least have a throwback, you know, weekend where you can have those park environments back in um probably the theater or something. You can have those park environments. You know, or, or have it to where you used to do it where the whole park can change. You see what I'm saying? It's possible. They used to do it Mountain Dew all the time. Have that as an event to get the Nostalgia Park box. And have this have us compete versus each other for um, rewards and stuff like we used to do in the past. That's what we're asking for in the community. And you see, Double H pretty much saying the same thing I'm saying. Is that really hoping 2K added some Nostalgic Parks? To the city because as a my career player i will not be playing my team just to go back to 2k16 ribbit i have to agree with that as a content creator i'm a park content creator by park i mean stage park and stage rec whatever same thing my career i'm not going to be in the rivet city playing with nba players just to be able to play it's not going to happen that's why i'm hoping that i am wrong with all my assumptions and me being salty right now because the my team community got what we've been asking for for years and it, they didn't have to ask for it it's crazy they didn't have to ask for it so of course i'm going to be salty as, as somebody that makes a living off this i would have i have my preferences just like everybody and the 2k can't please everybody but when a mass majority of people are agreeing with the same things sometimes you have to take a listen to it you know but I'm not going to be over there on my main channel. I'm going to be over there on my second channel, probably doing my team content for you guys if Black Ops 6 is not like that. Now, I also put out a tweet, you know, quote tweets in Red City Boys, original tweets about the OG Rec. Man, I used to love that OG Rec. Me and my IRLs used to play the OG Rec 10 plus hours a day, sometimes in the summertime. I can't play the new Rec for five games. Like, my brain is shut off. And I know I'm old, dog. I'm an old head. But... Come on, bro. Like, I was playing the OG rec for a minute, right? The new rec is just not it for me. I, the attention, like, it, it's just boring to me. I'll just keep it honest with you guys. It's boring to me. OG rec just was different. It's not nostalgia. It was just an environment. Even waiting on the spot wasn't even a problem. You load up your weight on the spot. And you're clowning the teams getting fried on the court. And you're waiting. You're talking trash, waiting to play the winner, to drop them off and you know have a big streak in the rig that's what it used to be about you used to try to match with your teammates you know with certain uniforms and stuff like that you used to try to do that bro you used to try to do weird stuff dress up weird and stuff like that was the good days man it took a intel i'd put out a tweet about some high school players getting to play the game early it's fine you know like to me it's not a big deal badge plug had responded uh if i may speak badge plug is a menace because I, I, I do understand badge plug's angle because 
there's creators like myself, Bias for Log, lots of people that year in, year out, they're going to grind the game. We make a living off this game. Uh, and I don't think you guys, let me just break it down for you. I'm not going to get into specifics. In the first three months of every launch, any creator you see that's successful on YouTube, Twitch, they're making most of their year salary in those first few months, right? So you can imagine there's creators out there making your full year salary in the first two months. It's a big thing. It's not that we're complaining just to complain. It's a big thing. It's a business. It's a, it's a huge thing. So going to community today, getting some footage early would help me get a gap. You see what I'm saying? Help me get a head start on early capture content that people don't necessarily have. Now, here's another problem. Play no has a ranked mode, it seems like. You have Bronze League, you have Silver League, you have Accolades as you move up. And it looks like they have the OG, uh, you know, leaderboard system, it looks like. And then um, you have rewards, leaderboards on the on the, on the the far right of the screen. You, have, you see the leaderboards. And once you get to the rewards, you see that there is um, 20 points to graduate, um, unlock 60s, 70s, 90 eras team, unlock San Antonio Spurs if you're the graduation reward. There's rewards for each time you go up right which is a w i think that's very cool i do think that's very cool hopefully the park has a leaderboard has rewards for the you know leaders and a rank system that alone i'm telling you if we don't get affiliations and we get that that's a w uh, just give us a new city 2k give us a new stage because i'm tired of playing the same stage every freaking year for the last four or five years all right well, i don't want to do it another year please 2k give me a, give us a new stage please please 2k we're begging you please just give us a new stage all right let the city be different. Do not give us the same city. Smaller. Give us some different parks. It is what it is, right? I just hope that I'm wrong about this stuff. I just hope I'm wrong that 2K is giving this Rivet City Park to my team only, you know, and this this old OG vibes stuff is going to be in the park as well, even if it's just affiliations, logo and names, but we got different parks for them. It will be a W. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. That's my honest opinion. It sucks. I feel like I am salty. I'm very salty that they got it before we did. Because my team, how are they getting better treated in the park than we? We don't want no no heavy shaded parks and the freaking trying to dribble and the, 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 the sunlight is on the other side of the freaking court. You see me? Like, we don't want that. We just want to hoop. That's it. That's it. We just want to hoop and, and not have too much extra stuff going on. You know, if you want to keep the city, keep the city, but make the park park feel like the old, the old times where it was no distractions. It was just the park. And if you want to go out there and travel in the city, boom, you know, you have your way to travel. But that's just my honest opinion. I am salty. I am very salty. I'm not happy. Happy for my team, but I'm not happy. I might have to double in some my team content on the second channel. So let me know, guys. If, if, you, if you guys want to see that, let me know. Not happy. But it, it is what it is at the end of the day. Let me know guys, Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. We'll see what happens, all right? We'll see.